Hey there Libra, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for February 27th through to March the 5th. Let's see what's on the cards for you. I'm going to jump straight on in with the Moonchild Tarot and build your message. I've got the Three of Pentacles. This is a building energy. Um, this can be that you are really taking action on a plan here this week. Something that you're trying to, you know, achieve, something that you're trying to build. It can talk about getting the right people around you, being part of the right networks, the right teams. Um, it can link to learning, development, your workplace, um, sometimes even physical building projects. So let's keep going and see what this is about. The Ace of Swords. Uh, well, this is the energy of breakthrough and victory. And um, it often is associated with, you know, truth or communication or, you know, details. So maybe you're going to have some kind of new inspired direction with what you're trying to create here. It's a new energy, it's a new beginning that really can send you towards a very positive outcome. What else have we got, Libra? We have got the Knight of Swords. Okay, um, this is about fast project, Libra. It's about things, you know, moving quickly and, you know, a really like a quantum leap energy. So maybe whatever it is this, that you've been trying to create, it's either been moving slowly or it might have come to a standstill. This really says that things are going to get moving again. The Ace of Swords might be a communication in your favor, maybe about finance, maybe about some kind of application or consent. And this would mean that, you know, it's full steam ahead after this week or after this information comes in. I'm gonna have to get more of the story out here, Libra, and see how this is going. So I'll get your nine cards out. Um, if you'd like a personal reading or healing, first link down below will take you across to my website to check those out. Grab my Learn Tarot Quick Guide if you'd like to start interpreting the cards for yourself. And um, if you'd like to take your tarot journey deeper, you can join the initiation of my more immersive course at any time. And on over on Instagram, I am doing daily tarot readings as well as daily love readings and sometimes pulling cards for followers. So you might want to head over there. Use the link down below or the text I think I'm putting on screen here as um, there are fake accounts out there. Okay, I'm going to speed things up, Libra. See you in just a moment. Well, these are your cards, Libra, and we've definitely got uh, a lot more information here uh, as well. So it really feels to me that you have been really trying to build something, execute a plan, um, you know, start some kind of project or something like that. We've got the Three of Pentacles that has shown up again, but it feels like it has come under fire or um, there could have been a running out of money or finance um, or things going on hold here. It feels like there's been a conditional circumstance where you haven't been able to push forward with it, but with double aces, including the ace of pentacles here, um, it feels like this is the week or the weeks around this uh, reading is when things actually get moving again. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start straight at the heart of the reading with the moon energy. Uh, Cancer Pisces links to me, but this is the energy where there are undercurrents, where there is more to the story where there might have been things happening uh, around the situation or behind the scenes that we weren't really aware of, okay, that have impacted the situation. This, there could have been a clause in a contract or there could have been somebody who, you know, made some promises and didn't follow through. There's just more to the situation that has impacted, you know, the result. It, was, it has resulted in what I'm feeling a lot of abrasive energy, five of pentacles and five of swords, okay? Conflict, you know, conflicting opinions, conflicting rules, whatever it may be. And the five of pentacles is somebody who is left here, you know, maybe without finance, without accommodation, um, without support or backup for you know getting things back on track or completing this project here so you will know what it is for you like it could have been trying to purchase a house renovate a house with all the pentacles energy um you know transition jobs work career so i think that's resulted in this feeling of 
well, I can't see the path ahead now. I'm just feeling lost in this. That's what's coming through. Now, the message is quite clear, and that is to, you know, to, to get planning again and to be reaching out and seeking that very help or that very support that you need, whether it is, you know, financial support or, you know, if this is about housing, that perfect home just at the right timing to carry you through this period or new work. Um, the Knight of Pentacles says reach out and then be patient, okay, because very soon I feel like this plan is going to be on track. Now, you might have thought that you had a watertight plan here, but it feels like maybe things didn't grow at the right time for you to be able to jump into this. And it feels like there's just been an issue of it's gone on pause and it's left you in a, in a sticky situation. So the three of wands here says, don't turn your back on this, but be patient because your ships are coming in. The pieces that you need are, are coming. And again, it's the number three. So you can get back to this creation, you know, back on progress here. And remember that Knight of Swords energy, it feels like there is a breakthrough here that can get things moving quickly or you can make up for lost time if you weren't needing to keep to some kind of you know schedule or timeline here so with the ace of swords coming through i'll have to say that you know this is the energy of victory and breakthrough here libra but it often comes after break down quite often we end up in a bit of a tower moment before that silver lining comes through but down the track in hindsight, we look back and go, I'm actually really pleased that happened because the way we have, um, you know, redefined this or the side steps taken to mitigate that have actually led us in a better direction. So it's again about having trust and faith in the bigger picture here and knowing that divine orchestration is ultimately at work and we need to surrender to that outcome here as well. There could have even been some been someone who like who was a, a key player in this situation who you were relying on who walked away for some kind of reason maybe there was a disagreement maybe you didn't see eye to eye or there was a you know a value that was off here sometimes the five of swords says that it's kind of come to battle and somebody has literally gone you know what I'm out I'm walking away, I'm leaving this team, I'm leaving this group, and that's what has left you. It's like, well, now I'm left in the cold here, I'm left in the lurch, and I have to pick up the pieces, and I've still got to meet this timeline. So that's what I'm feeling here. It's like it sort of got out of your control in some way, and that there was somebody else involved, or somebody pulled their energy, or their finance, or something out of this, until... The ace of pentacles shows up for you so libra this is that missing piece that you need but again be seeking be reaching out to your network so the universe knows that you are ready to move forward with this this is the divine gift that you need to not only get back on track but to complete this successfully and maybe even to earn some money out of this i mean the ten of pentacles talks about something that's providing abundance or something that's providing you with ultimate stability and security that very help that you're getting that one pentacle can help you multiply through to the ten of pentacles okay so that's what i see here it's like you know it's getting back on track you'll be able to reinvest in this there's going to be a quantum leap of of progress through to a really successful outcome successful completion you're still being asked to have some patience here but Libra it feels like there is that breakthrough coming so let's get you a moonology card to close this out I've got confidence is the key to success stay confident stay in your energy here that's going to be important okay because when we start to feel uh, you know, like we're lacking value or worth or not feeling confident about our own plan, then the energy really does shift. Libra, let's go for Sacred Creators Oracle. I've got you, a living poetry. You are creating this and you are in control. 
So be confident and keep taking the steps towards the plans, towards the milestones and stop dropping ground. Try not to get swept away in the triggers of this. Try not to get swept away by the emotions and and also have a healthy amount of emotional detachment and let go of the original expectations that you may have had. Staying grounded is really going to help you embrace the new energy and the new direction that this is ultimately taking. But I just feel, Libra, that you will look back and you'll be very grateful for how things turned out. So that's what I have for you, Libra. I hope you found this useful, insightful, gave you some clarity. I am, of course, cheering you on and wishing you so much love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now. <laughs>